even if you fucked it. Fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone. It's Ethan McKinley. It's Ellie Fitzgerald. And this is... The Two Minute Terminator. Yes, where we break down the Terminator films two minutes at a time. Basically, we watch two minutes of Terminator... And then we talk about it yep. and hopefully make you laugh and entertain you. <laughs> it is episode 55. We are going from the 110 to the 112 minute mark. The two minutes bridging that gap. And we're here hopefully for our penultimate live action bit of the show, I guess. Because we're literally in the last two and a half or minutes. two minutes, 20 seconds of visual stimulation, input, stimulation of Terminator Salvation. Season four of our Talking podcast. Talking of visual stimulation, I can see my neighbor in a sh- pair of shorts. Oh, is that the neighbour that now An has old uh, geezer. stopped doing building the Titanic? Now everyone's awake in the neighbourhood. Yeah, basically he was uh, drilling. And he should be drilling his wife instead of that bloody boar. Right? Did that wake you up this morning? Yes. Yeah, f- arsehole. <gasps> but oh he's shit, uh, we shouldn't have said that. Why? Because the listeners are going to intonate that we were in the same bed together last night. <gasps> we're not in the friend zone anymore. We are really. Shit! I'd never marry this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um, He's just like strutting around his garden in a really Ellie. short pair of shorts making a barbecue. Hit the music. Howdy, stranger. Don't say howdy, stranger, to me. You didn't do the fourth. Thank God. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> yeah, it sucked yeah. Yes, we're back. Thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us again for episode 55 of the Two Minute Terminator. In the background, of course, the bumper music is... <gasps> You can guess what it is, can't you? It's The Goonies <laughs> by Dave Grusin from uh, 1985, which I get mixed views now. Everyone keeps saying, oh, The Goonies is shit, or it's really good. The Goonies is shit, the it's Goonies really good. The Goonies is awesome. I love The I Goonies. I thought people started turning on The Goonies, man. Why are people turning on The Goonies? I don't know, but like, I've read Who? loads of, like, seen loads of retrospective reviews, and they're like, well, it's... Who, the, though? The kids are annoying and this. Just, not in general, just the consensus. I've been, like, looking at loads of, like, Trends. Goonies retro stuff. Well, they know nothing. It's good film, Listen isn't to it? the music, man. This is going to be us when we go up to see Bill Burr this evening. Yes, we are seeing comedian Bill Burr this morning, tonight. Tonight, this morning. So Ethan, sort your shit out, man. Brain fart. I'm trying to control three different things at the same time, <laughs> my life being one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's serious. Uh. <laughs> uh. But yes, we are seeing Bill Burr this evening. It was a uh, gift from Ethan to me for my birthday. Where are we seeing him? Even time. The oh? Hammersmith Apollo. Oh, Hammersmith. Riding on a motorbike or getting the train is still to be decided. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, yeah, basically, we're going to go see him tonight. And then. Uh, yeah, Why the wouldn't we do the bike? Because it's quite a stressful ride, isn't it? Oh, okay. I don't know. Whatever. But also, I'm easy. We're, not, we're not bound by the train, I guess, if you do that. So, I guess we do that. It's up to you. You're You're the one that's. In the driving seat, as uh, they say. <coughs> but yes, welcome to the Two Minute Terminator, where we break down the uh, Terminator films two minutes at a time. Ethan, <laughs> what are the bookmarks of this two minutes? Uh, the bookends of this is basically it's Christian Bale getting his undeserved, in my humble opinion, yeah, heart same. transplant. <laughs> uh, Sam Worthington, who's been the hero for the entire film, they're like, oh no, Christian Bale's got a broken heart. And he goes, what about mine? And he points to himself. And they all look at each other and go, well, we didn't want to say anything, robot boy, but... I'd be like, babe, keep it! <laughs> In the words of Harry Connick Jr., it had to be you. <laughs> it had to be. <laughs> uh, and it ends basically with uh, Sam Worthington fading out of focus as I guess he dies. And Christian Bale fading into focus. As uh, he lives? As he l- lives. <laughs> yeah. Let's just bring the background music down a little bit there, Mr. Uh, Dave Grusin. Uh, weirdly, I didn't really know of any other work he did apart from The Fur with Tom Cruise. He didn't really do any more soundtracks that I'm aware of after this. A bit like Bruce Broughton, really good composer, but just never seemed to get anything. And also, by to a lesser degree, Craig Safan, who did the last Starfighter score, his music was really good as well. And he kind of just fell into TV land. It's really weird. I'm glad you brought up Tom Cruise because I'm going to bring him up later in the show. Uh, but yeah, so this last two minutes, we see... Well, it's... All it is really is Marcus giving his uh, heart away. To well, it's a bit. It's like a Jeff. cast reunion as well, isn't it? It's yeah. uh, Common, the late Aaron Tom Yelchin, Anthony. star. Yep. 
moon face. Moon face blood splatter. And, uh, <laughs> moon face blood splatter. And Mrs. Porky Roebuck, Ellie's yep. favourite. Oh, God. And last but not least, uh, Sam Worthington, who is uh, You've got last season's bail. Joy Courtney. Uh, so yeah, they're all standing around in like kind of like, uh, oh, we did it, didn't we? It's but like then... all around the deathbed, isn't it? It's like the final scene. So how would this film have played? As I said, I might as well just say it for the last, almost the last episode of this season. Marcus Wright was meant to be the hero of this film and the main part, and I guess the saviour of humanity because John Connor actually was meant to die uh, at the end of this movie and he was going to assume his either identity or take over the resistance fighting because he was already a machine he had an inside track perhaps on how they thought because he got that massive download from Helena Bonham Carter who wouldn't yeah. want one of those and uh, knows the ins and outs of Skynet basically and he was going to lead the human resistance to victory and smash the machines he was going to turn the tide it was never John Connor John Connor was merely the kind of I guess the thing that was meant to bring balance to the force yeah. like Anakin Skywalker but didn't and then it became <laughs> Luke but now is it even Luke that brings balance because uh, Han Solo kind of lost his job he lost his woman he ended up, his son was basically Hitler. What What were they thinking when they did that in the, like, the Force Awakens? All that they fought for in the Return of the Jedi was gone to shit. I can't believe people thought that was a good idea. But what do <laughs> I know? <laughs> so a little bit like this, uh, John Connor was merely the bridging character to the true saviour of humanity, which was uh, Marcus Wright. But now they changed the story because Christian Bale came on board the project, wanted to play John Connor, not Marcus Wright, was more interested in that role. And kind of sideline that kind of Marcus Wright story. Even though throughout this film, it's quite obvious he's the kind of like... The main protagonist. The main protagonist. And John Connery, who kind of like is mean to him the whole film, doesn't believe anything he says, doesn't trust him. Now he just gives his heart away. Explain. I know, right? I wouldn't have. Like, mate, I've earned this shit. How would this story have been retold? Had they stuck with the original idea and John Connor was going to die and Marcus well, Wright they took over? They would have just had John die and John would have bequeathed all his information and knowledge and maybe given his tapes to he kind of doesn't need that though now because marcus had that giant like upload download from helen bottom car before he pulled the chip out of the back of his head yeah but that's all his history isn't As it he it's, beautifully not, conveyed it's not it's not necessarily prepares, john connor's history uh hooking into a computer <laughs> hooking into a computer yeah um <laughs> no well he was downloading all his history wasn't he it wasn't john connor's history he was shown his history, and then he kind of was like, this is why you're here, Marcus. Then he kind of looked into the abyss, and the abyss looked into him. I don't know. But I think there was enough connection there. For him I love go, it. We're uh -huh. keeping it James Cameron. I know how... Yeah, exactly. I know how uh, Cameron... Not Cameron. Skynet works. <laughs> he is kind of Skynet. Yes. But yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that's where he get all his info. Yeah. And that's what he'd take into the future this, as the this leader was, of the resistance. This was one of my qualms with this particular scene. I was like... He offers up his heart, and he says, take mine. Can I just say, though the opening of this two minutes if you just watched it the way he just looks at the camera opens his jacket and then it just pans down to a medallion and a hairy chest it is just <laughs> like no it just pan no it pans further down than that it his just, medallion should it looks like the opening of a gay porno <laughs> it does it's like take mine and then it just made me think take my strong hand <laughs> the weird cripple in um is it uh scary movie 2 never seen it Take my strong hand. Yeah, he's got like one this of those like hand. Jeremy Beadle hand. <laughs> and he's like making the food and he's like getting his weird wibbly wobbly like. I wonder if you can do in that there. now in a film because of like like PC ness. Like you couldn't show a withered hand on film. No, I reckon they could. I reckon they'd show it in a really serious way. Because I'm sure some group would go, hey. No, but. Yeah, but. The thing is, though, comedy is always needs a victim, doesn't with it? With all these, with all these kind of um, different strains of people, there's always that. There's always two sides of it, isn't there? There's always a side of, oh, we can't exploit them, but then it's like, yeah, but we should be putting them out there because people need to be de desensitized to someone who's got baked bean for a finger. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, I couldn't give a shit. It's just like. Actually, no, I can't say this because this particular person apparently does listen to the show. Go um, on. No, it's just like I I generally take people as I find them. I don't really ask many questions. Um, found out recently that someone I know is actually trans. Um, I had I hadn't really thought about it that much because when I met them, I just assumed that that's well, that is who they are. And then I found out actually after they're like transitioning, and I was like, oh wow. 
I actually... To a new job? Didn't... No. No. Oh. No, to a new gender, Ethan. Oh. Get the time job. Fuck. I love Ellie treading carefully on a subject. It's so good. <laughs> Just watching you kind of go... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I completely agree. I think they should have killed Bullshit Bale. Just because it's bullshit mail. Well, he hasn't really done anything. Exactly. And also, think of all the advantages of having a half-human, half-Terminator. He's planted the bombs, be. but he was kind of done. Like, Marcus could have... He's, he's done. Marcus could have done all this stuff, really. I do hope you've all seen that video of that. Well, it's not really a video. Well, it is a video, but it's an audio, isn't it? There's some chick get leaving a voicemail, getting dumped. Well, no, she's been dumped, but I think she's like I knew, I knew begging, you, begging to be taken back. But they've just put a picture of a car, and <laughs> it like, like drives off into the sunset. <laughs> <and> goes, <"Hoo!" laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, I would have thought been such a better for idea. The good of the human race, who is going to be more likely to lead us to a successful future? I would have said Marcus. Oh, for sure. That would have been a really good Twilight Zone type twist. Yeah. Like the end of Oblivion, which I spotted a mile off, but you were like, wow, that was amazing. Shut up. Because that's basically a Twilight Zone episode yeah. as well. This would have been as well if they had the twist like it's not, it was never. Well, it's not now because in the next film, they kind of, spoilers, uh, John Connor is the Terminator and that he's done. He's done. Done. Who? <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought that they should have killed Bullshit Bell. They should have. Pers personally. It would have been a good twist. J just think the advantages of having Skynet, like, technology inside a human who... Inside human. Who has a choice. Marcus is clearly on the side of the humans. You would utilise a fucking half-human, half-machine, wouldn't you? No, because Bullshit Bell never trusted him the whole time anyway. Oh, but you trust him enough? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't trust you, mate, but give us your heart. Well, no, because that's that's just the only, that's the only just, reason. That's well, just the actor all over. Apart from the signal, the asshole. only thing that stops Bale from going along with blowing up Skynet remotely, like I'm Michael Ironside said, General Ashdown, Ashdown, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was the fact that he was trying to rescue Carl Reese to preserve his own ass, basically. Yeah. Otherwise, had uh, Carl Reese not been captured, he just would have gone ahead with the bombing. I think. He only going in with the ladies, it's the coming. It's the coming. <laughs> he only went in there to kind of rescue him and plant those uh, uh, fuel cell, power cell bombs, which technically wouldn't have gone off because the first generation Terminator batteries didn't weren't nuclear. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. They only added that in Jonathan Mosto's version for Terminator 3, which I think many true fans of Terminator don't consider canon. Yeah. So have you gone back... As this being the better film, or do you think Terminator 3? No, I still think 3 is the worst. Really? Yeah. I'm just looking at my notes that I haven't really read properly. Oh, yeah. So we have, obviously, the debate that I think that Bullshit Bale should have died instead of Marcus. And then we get Moonface, and she comes over and she's like, No, no, don't do it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, Ethan, explain what that is. I can't, I'll just post it on the Two Minute Terminator page. There's an amazing... Ethan basically has found a new uh, lease of life through With the page, page of zesty memes on Facebook. And to be fair, the first few videos you showed me, I wasn't... A couple of them were quite funny, but it was a bit hit and miss. They're mostly winners versus losers. But clips. then last night, Ethan upped his game and showed me some ridiculously funny videos. Um <sighs> Uh, the the magic of loops and electronic music and fist pumping and daughter granddad porn and <laughs> it's uh <laughs> it's fun for all the family uh i recommend you check it out uh, zesty memes on facebook.com uh ethan you look like you're about to say your something wall? I'm no, you didn't to find it. No, you didn't post it on my wall. I tagged you in it though. You tagged me, yeah. So play it down the mic. Okay. All right. We well, can, uh, you need to talk whilst I find see it. See if we okay? can find it. <laughs> talk. Basically, yeah. If you go on Zesty Memes, uh, listeners on Facebook, it's just like most of the videos are really funny. Uh, <laughs> all remixes or songs, go falling down a slide, that kind of thing. Uh, just hilarious stuff, I think. Really like cutting and evil things too. <laughs> Right, okay, I've got it. 
Okay. Uh, also, by the way, this uh, film is dedicated to the memory of Stan Winston, uh, who obviously died in uh, 2008. Right, we're going to have to oh, okay. stop the Goonies for a moment. Okay, Go. so this is, uh, it's called Badaddy. <laughs> we will we will post a video as well it's uh it's a visual experience as well as an audio uh as an audio one <laughs> It's all really funny on there. Some of it's on my actual Facebook page, right? If you just scroll down the page, every video on there is pretty much a zesty memes video. No, don't do it. Don't no. do it. No, no, don't do it. I'm a virgin. No, no. <laughs> it's basically some young girl trying to have her way with this old man. It's uh, it's very funny. Anyway, back to the Terminator. <laughs> I'm a virgin. Um. Yeah, Moonface. She gets all upset and she's like, no, Marcus. Which I thought, which is actually going back on what I just said, but that's just my opinion. I guess the general opinion of the people in this scene are saying, you know, we need John. John's the one that needs to survive. And Moonface is like, no, Marcus, don't give them your heart. I actually thought that was quite selfish of Moonface because Moonface clearly just wants his D. Oh, no, for sure. But she, that's the, the other thing. She's like... Would you uh, risk the, 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 the safety of the world couldn't for Couldn't they D? have had a better scene there in terms of acting? Especially she'd be like lobbying to go, I want a big emotional scene where I'm like fighting for him. No, don't do it. Exactly. Because all he says like is... Ben Affleck All in, he uh, says is, is everyone deserves a second chance. And she just looks at him She's and she kisses him. And I was goes, like... All right. Exactly. I was like, wow. Way to go to put Space up a fight, technically, babe. you could just put... A car battery in his chest and get him working just enough to get a car battery. to get the D to work. Yeah, but it's the heartbeat that really got her. Because do you remember in the beginning she was like, mm, "Strong heartbeat." And it panned into his chest. It was like a black washing up going. Yeah, <laughs> like in The Simpsons. Yeah, I don't know. She should have been fighting for. I don't know. Yeah, I literally have. She should have drawn a gun and gone. You stay away from him. You don't. You do it. And they could look and see anyway. And she would look at him and gone. Yeah, okay. I don't know. They could have made something more of that. I think. She finally got to face rape him, though. I guess. She finally got her kiss. She goes, oh, your breath smells of oil and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> that's, is that, Breakfast is that, spoons. is that like for the feminists to be like, yeah, that's because you said that Helena Bonham Carter tastes like death. So now Moonface can get her own back. Exactly. And be like, yeah, you taste like <coughs> oil and Wrapping up the film, really, uh, Ellie, what do you <laughs> think of the film in general then? What would you give it out of 10, Terminator Salvation? Um, oh what God. bits do you like about it? The, the, the factory bit? The factory bit was really good. I like it when you actually see the, uh, the T-600 bit. So when there was that short scene where the T-600 at the beginning was in the... Um, with the rotten face. Yeah, with the rotten face. Uh, and he was shooting at Star... Uh, Anton and uh, Marcus. And they dropped a train on him. Yeah. Um, I thought that was good. Dropped a piano on his head. <laughs> I just wish there was more of the actual Terminators. Yeah. I thought they looked really, really good. And more Terminator on Terminator like action. It's not that kind of film, Ellie. Huh? It's not that kind of film, though. I know, but that's what I want. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you want what you can't have. Um, oh, look, he's cleaning his blades out there. Yeah, nice and clean now, are they? After you used them at fucking nine o'clock this morning, you bastard! Sorry, she's my neighbour. Decided to do some DIY in the in the uh, in the garden at an unholy hour this morning. Uh, and considering I get up at half six every day to go to work, I really didn't appreciate being woken up by that <laughs> this morning. Uh, that was a circular saw. So if you couldn't call it, I would give it. Oh. He's having a good old bang now. Sorry if you hear tapping in the background. It's just jackass. Tapper, so. tapper, tapper. Simpsons. Um, <coughs> five. So an average movie. It's just that bit in the middle, man. It's so drawn it, out. Oh, God. Long drawn out affair. Really long drawn out affair. <laughs> long drawn out affair. 
It's a uh, no. It's got some. It's got some nice shots. It's got some. A couple of good scenes. Would you like to see the sequel to this versus what we got in Terminator Genesis? <coughs> no. I would like to have seen the film that this could have been suggested by yourself. Whenever you've made suggestions on how this film could have gone, I'm like, ah, oh, that actually sounds like it could be quite cool. Should be a producer. Yeah, you should have. Should have done a lot of things. Should have done your buttons up. Beep, 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 beep. That almost sounds like Kate Bush. I don't know why I mean Windy Moors. We were green. I love Kate Bush. Why? Because she's cool. She's oh I love Kate Bush, running up that hill. You got to be joking me. So good. Except the truth, Moonface. Except the truth. Oh my I, god, I, the music to this is amazing. I would have basically just gone no, run over and just beat John Connor. Just going, just <laughs> shot him. Oh what if you were Moonface? Just shot him in the head. Like now, what we're we gonna do? We start with him now. <laughs> and Bryce as well. Just look at that face. God. Anton, dude, the acting, I'm so gutted. What I think he's such a good actor. Why is he? Just even that little clip there where you see uh, Marcus Forlorn look this. over at uh, Star and, uh, and um, <coughs> Kyle. Pile. And he just looks and, dude, like the the emotion in his face, like, it's what's very, he, very what's believable. He conveying, Pain, sorrow, grief, loss. Kill my real dad. Keep Marcus. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Kill my father. Basically, that's what that face is telling me. Don't do this. Don't leave me with bullshit bail. <laughs> Don't leave me with Don't bullshit bail. Don't want to go to the past to save this motherfucker. Plus, it's the long stare. Well, with Marcus in place, The long stare of bullshit bail in this as well. Every time you look at him, he's just like... The eternal time war, now with Marcus in place, with his knowledge... You don't need uh, John Connor anymore. They'd be like, well, we kind of don't need him anymore. Exactly. So why did we and keep Carl him? And Carl would be like, well, I don't have to die. Like, I don't have to get back in time. Like, really? Boo. Exactly. <laughs> they just show him off. They just push him off the hospital bed, like in that thing, that thing on the coat case. Something I actually, I really didn't like about this uh, two minutes. And even though I have just said I want to see, I would have liked to have seen more of like the actual Terminators. When Marcus um, holds hands with Star, and you see the Terminator hand, it looks so shit. The actual hand itself. I just think the hand looks really like weak. It does. It looks it's like, like it's made like it... out of like aluminium as opposed to like f solid metal. It's not like any of the um, Terminator arms we've seen, like with actual bolts in it and things. It just it's like. Well, no, they'd have it's to scale it down anyway because he's a smaller, regular-sized dude versus Arnold. You can kind of imagine a man that would have to be that big to contain that giant skeleton, that robot. No, but it just looks shit. <laughs> I thought it looked shit. See? Terrible acting, Anton. Look. What? How is it terrible? Demonstrating. Dude! Look. Ethan, I think he's an amazing actor. I really like him. Well, I prefer Bryce. Of course you do. Jurassic World, man. Oh. You loved it. I didn't. You did. I didn't. So that actually, I thought that'd be shit. It was really good. Oh, my Here God. Go. Here we go. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No, 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 no. You said it was great. No, I didn't. I said it was all right. Fuck you. You said it was good. I did not say it was great. I did not say it was amazing. You liar. No. <laughs> what you're thinking of is the fact that I used to, well, I still Dead. do, can't stand Tom Cruise. And then you made me watch all of his films. And then you took me to the cinema to watch Mission Impossible. And I actually loved it. <laughs> it was so good. Mission Impossible. Uh, which was it? Is it the sixth one? Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation. Number five. Yeah, five. Yeah, no, I thought that was really good. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm just saying that, but yeah, I did. It was awesome. And that brings it nicely into my next uh, comment and what I said in the beginning. And it's just happened now. The final part of this two minutes where you see um, Marcus dying, I guess, and then we fade into uh, Bullshit Bale. That just makes me think of Tom Cruise in Vanilla Sky. <laughs> you know, with his like messed up face and the mask. I was like, oh my god, it's fucking schmooze. I think as it fades out of Marcus's <laughs> face, it should fade back up and he's in Avatar and he's blue body. <laughs> he goes, oh my god, what happened? 
James, you brought me back. And then you can splice the two movies together because that's what he does in Avatar. He kind of fades out and then he kind of goes boop and he's in his blue uh, Navi body. Oh, I'm so glad we sprayed these, these mics. These mics do smell good. Why well, does yeah. it not smell this good on me? It does. Right, Ethan, what you have to understand You've got is... you body dysmorphia and smell dysmorphia. Yeah. I don't. Um, when you spray perfume onto yourself, you become almost... You activate it. No. No. Oh, because the human brain looks for... That's why if you walk Something through smelling different. of shit, you go, oh my God, but if you're in there for an hour... Yeah, you're you used to it. smelling shit. Because you've sprayed it on yourself, you become accustomed to it. It's like being desensitised to something. Is you're it the case of the Emperor's New Clothes? I'm still not convinced. No. Ethan, By the I way, they do do it. an eau de parfum. But oh, it's the silver one. And okay. it's 2009 edition. Oh. So All right. Well, it's, it's your birthday like a, It's October. like a wine. They made a batch of them in 2009. And then in 2014, they released the eau de toilette. But the only one they do parfum is the silver one. Everything else is toilette, sadly. Oh. Because that would stick for longer, right? Eau de parfum is like... It's the closest thing to oil that you can get. <laughs> it's alright, it's your birthday in October. Well, the same way Donna Karen NY isn't really Donna Karen. DKNY, no. It's like uh, Armani, was it? God, what's the Armani Emporium one? Armani. Yeah, it's like the shit version of Armani. Just for the, the peons. No, I thought Armani was just, was the actual thing was Emporium Armani. Emporium. I don't know. Well, one of them, because all fashion yeah, brands yeah, have their e B no, list. No, because it's EA. They have B list, and then they have, well, um, it must be Armani's the main one. I don't know. I don't really care. But yes, we have sprayed Tom Ford all over these mics. Uh, it's no longer <laughs> Chanel Blue. <laughs> Not the man himself. <laughs> gay we sprayed gay fashion designer Tom Ford all over these mics. Is he gay? Well, yes. I don't even know who Tom Ford is. Right, let me sh before we wrap up the show, let's just show Ellie Tom Ford. Did I know nothing about the fashion world at all? Well, you, you, you should, because you're working for Seller now. I'm working for Seller, but I'm staffing. I don't have to know about the actual brand. Oh, uh, that's Tom Ford. Yeah. Oh, he looks very Seller, doesn't he? Yeah. He looks so Seller. I've done events for Tom Ford. Yeah, you have actually. I think actually, you know what? I think when I first worked for Seller, when he launched his fragrance at Selfridges, he was there. Really? And he was signing the boxes. Oh my god! Awesome. Yeah. Anyway, we digress. We do digress. Do you have Did anything you have else to add, Ellie? No, I don't. Do you? No. I think what it is the same way we every end every. Every season, every 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 every. I kind of run out of things to say, and also because the uh, the. I guess the, not the memes, the information kind of runs out and it's wrapping up. You kind of switch off? <coughs> yeah, because it's not like you're going... In, 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 uh, in wrapping it up... However, though, we've done like nearly 30 minutes. I know, I'm just saying though. I just, I feel the last few episodes have been a bit patchy because uh, I think I, f I feel like Terminator fatigue at the ever end of every season and you kind of like, it's a bit like a relationship, it kind of wanes and you're like, oh, God. I need, I need, I need a new f film to talk about. <laughs> I'm using the word film as a metaphor for another bummer. <laughs> uh, yeah, strange. I don't know. I quite enjoyed this uh, episode. Did oh, you? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There was about one four back, and it was we we're on fire. It was great. <laughs> I can't remember which one it was though. But yeah, we'll return. Probably when you eaten a whole literally bag the next of episode, bears. folks. There's like about five seconds of more Bale's face, I think. And then it's like the start of the credits, but I've got some notes for that. So we shall return with episode 55 uh, tomorrow. And uh, thank you all so much for listening. As we uh, are coming to the last two or three episodes, we might just do one giant trivia episode, movie trivia episode to cover all the credits. I don't know how I feel yet. Uh, and after that, we're going to take a couple of weeks off. I'm going to do, do some guesting on other people's shows. I've already done the Master Debaters. That's yet to come out. And I'm going to be on Back to the Future Minutes, hopefully next week, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'll you be little doing podcast that. whore. Well, you know, it's good to. Uh, I'm going to try and spread our seed as much as possible among other shows before we start. I've travelled uh, over five thousand miles. Because I've got my a funny seed. feeling when we get to Genesis, because it's a new film, kind of. It's going to kick off. It might probably kick off as we come to the end of everything. <laughs> but as I said before, I think we're going to keep the lights on here by doing maybe 
twice a month maybe or once a month we'll do a commentary on an arnie film okay uh you know so we'll just start doing arnie movies who knows we'll do pumping iron <gasps> twins twins yes can we please do t- <laughs> born to be bad i want that t-shirt maybe that's the podcast for the next podcast born to be do. bad <gasps> i thought ellie sex life because that would sell more ellie sex don't use my real name why can't it be billy sex life why why i don't know actually you were just panicking now you've got a job again before no. you didn't care no it's not about my job there was more chance you'd bring more shame on your company by doing the Terminator for the last job you had? No. Really? Really. 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 Those kind of people wouldn't listen to this anyway. It's not about that. <laughs> what is podcast? <laughs> what is podcast? <laughs> anyway, we've massively digressed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we will be back tomorrow. Uh, you can find us on SoundCloud, Twitter, Facebook. Like, share, retweet. Tell your friends. Hide your wife, I, hide your kids. iTunes, leave a review. Check out the page that Ethan constantly adds uh, pictures and gifts I've to. I've actually done that recently as well. I've dumped another two or three hundred more rare Terminator photographs. He has Terminator dumped his load Terminator all over the, the page. Uh, two-minute Terminator Facebook page. Also, as we come to the end of this, you can in fact watch every clip as we talk about it on YouTube and our YouTube channel. So please go and support there. Subscribe, of course. Show some love. Comment. Say nasty things. Say good things. We don't care. It's all there. Uh, all part of a, the giant tapestry. That no press love. is bad press. No press is bad press, Ellie. Um, and on that note. Hasta la vista. Baby. Oh my. Man, you and me, we're fucking done professionally. Fucking ass.